When you take the head off of a Model A four-cylinder engine, sometimes for the first time in decades, it's often a good idea to remove the studs and replace them with fresh grade 8 hardened studs. Now, often there will be contamination left behind in the stud holes, rust, oil, uh, even coolant. Because the stud holes on a Model A are blind, meaning they're dead end holes that don't go all the way through the, to the water jacket, any crud attached to the bottom of the hole is difficult to remove. It could also create problems when you insert the new studs. Either the stud won't go in all the way, or the compressing of the stud against the debris on the bottom could damage the stud or the block. So it's important to start with relatively clean stud holes. Now in this video, I'll show you one way to clean the stud holes on the Model A engine block. To clean your stud holes, you'll need a 3 8 inch oak dowel, some brake cleaner, some shop towels, some canned air or compressed air, a 7 16 inch re-threading tap, which is also called a thread restorer or a thread chaser. This one's from a set made by Lang Tools. A half inch nylon bore brush with a chuck that fits your impact wrench. This one's from a Harbor, Harbor Freight engine brush kit. And a shop vacuum. Before you get started, you'll need to shape your oak dowel into something like a chisel or a flathead screwdriver. The reason we're doing this is instead of just using a flathead screwdriver, and, and also the reason we're using a nylon brush instead of a wire brush, is we want to avoid any chance of scratching the block surface with metal or leaving metal fragments down in the bore where they could cause problems. When cleaning a machine surface, you always want to use tools that are softer than the surface itself. So take your oak dowel, cut it down to about pencil length, about four to six inches long, cut a vertex into the end. Make sure the edge that you've created is straight and clean, like a flathead screwdriver. Use sandpaper to get the width down to about 5 16 a little over a quarter, and get it nice and smooth. Now you're ready to start. We'll begin with the head off the engine block and the studs out. Now I'll assume that all your studs came out intact and there's no broken stud pieces to contend with. You're going to be blowing grit and debris out of the stud holes. So make sure that you have filled the cylinder bores either with the piston or with lint-free rags so that no debris can get into that gap between the piston and the bore and create any kind of scoring or damage. Now take your brake cleaner and spray a little bit into each bore hole. Make just a little pool. Don't fill it all the way up, just about a third of the way. You put the bore brake cleaner into each borehole and then wait. You can wait a few hours. You can even wait overnight. Your goal here is twofold. You are softening and dissolving the crud that's in the borehole. And then you're also testing each borehole for leaks. And if you come back later and one of the boreholes is empty, well, you'll know that one has rusted through into the water jacket. Now, these next steps, the procedure is the same for every hole. So I'll just show you one time and then you can repeat it. My recommendation is you do each step for all the holes and then proceed to the next step, like an assembly line. So when you return, take a shop towel and twist the corner of it, and then gently use that pointed dowel to push the towel into the borehole. You rotate it a few times. What you're doing is soaking up all that brake cleaner and any crud that's dissolved. Pull the towel out, make sure you didn't leave any torn bits in the borehole. Now insert the dowel into the borehole and rotate it against the bottom of the bore. What you're doing here is breaking up any gunk that's been crushed against the bottom of the bore. And if any hole has any, a lot of debris in it, you'll feel that. Remove the dowel and blow the hole clean with compressed air. Keep your shop vac hose near, because this is where a bunch of debris is going to come flying out of the hole. And it's important that it not wind up in your cylinders or valves. Take your half-inch nylon bore brush and your impact wrench or a drill and try to find a bore brush where the bristles extend out past the end of the brush. This will make it more effective at cleaning the bottom of the borehole. Use that drill to run that brush in and out of the bore a few times. And then blow the hole clean with compressed air. And finally, take your thread chaser. Run it all the way down to the bottom of the bore and back. You may need to stop every few holes and clean the gunk out of the thread chaser with a wire brush. Now blow 
the hole clean with compressed air again. And now inspect the hole with a flashlight. You should see shiny threads and a flat bottom. There might still be a little bit of residue on it, but you shouldn't see any kind of particles. Or... Now you're ready to test your block threads to make sure that they can hold the torque that's going to be required for your new cylinder head. So the, you can find that video on testing your block threads at the link at the upper right corner. Also, check out my 10-step video for preparing to install a new cylinder head. I'll be posting a video on the actual install itself in a few weeks, so that may already be up when you're watching this. Meanwhile, if you are an expert Model A mechanic, post a video yourself. Add to the library of YouTube. It doesn't matter what it is. Simple maintenance tasks, anything. We really need more good Model A instructional videos out there. Please share your knowledge with